Let's take a breath and ponder some deep existential questions. No, not why are we here or is there a life on other planets? I'm saying the big questions you're trying to answer with braids. But since we're talking about it, aliens do exist and you're gonna have to face that one of these days. One of the first questions we like to ask is, what do you want to do? What would you like to know about your users? Stepping back and taking this broad look at what you're trying to accomplish will make it easier to determine which details to pull about your users. Enter custom data. We already learned a bit about out of the box data in our previous lesson, user profile breakdown. When we talk about custom data, we mean data specific to your business. And as such, it requires your hands-on involvement. We really can't stress enough here. This custom data piece can make or break how easily you can segment, personalize, trigger, and report on your engagement. I even typed it down here in case you zoned out for a sec. See? Sweet. Consider your company goals and the nature of your business to determine the user stats or actions you want to track. Custom attributes are user characteristics that you can specify. So if you run a shoe store, you might want to have each profile specify that user's shoe size and brands they've purchased in order to see what brands are currently trending or to personalize messaging. The other piece here specified by you is custom events. Custom events are actions taken on your app or website. Let's say you want to track who's failed a level in your gaming app so you can email them tips on how to beat the stage boss. You must designate that action as a custom event for it to appear here. You can think of custom attributes as the noun descriptors that you set for a user, whereas custom events are the active verb descriptors. These metrics will update in real time as users go along their customer journey. But remember, you've been given an allotment of data points that you can't go over, and every user action, like when a user performs a custom event or an attribute is updated, will use a data point. So be sure to limit your custom attributes and events to only the info you need. For example, if you have a health app that tracks workouts and calories burned, why would you need eye color as a custom attribute? Will this help you answer any of those big questions for your business? I'd say highly unlikely. Be thoughtful and deliberate about these selections at the start to avoid multiple engineer requests down the line. FYI, using dev resources wisely is really good karma.